going on everyone? I'm down in my basement right now doing a little bit of work on my battery box. Nothing too crazy, but I purchased a USB port that can be hooked up to your battery so I can charge my phone or any other camera equipment I have. But more importantly, this is gonna be used for a rear mounted camera that I can run constant power to. I'm gonna get a, I think it's a Yak Attack uh, boomstick is what it's called, where it mounts to your track mount on your kayak. So I'm just getting ready for that. And um, before we start, I have a few cool things to show you guys. I thought this was pretty neat. So last time I went to Lake Arthur, uh, I snagged this guy. This is a tough shad. I'm not sure who makes it. Looks like a big old musky bait and there was no treble hooks on it. Maybe they rusted out. It's been down there for a while, but I cleaned it up and uh, yeah, any musky fishermen out there, let me know. Is this thing, is this thing good? Should I try to throw it on like a heavier setup? Obviously I need to get some treble hooks for it, but I thought that was pretty neat. This is another thing I picked up recently. These are actually my dad's old Bushnell binoculars. I think this is a pretty cool item to have on your kayak, especially for some of the wildlife that I see whenever I'm on my kayak. This will be pretty fun to, uh, to use so I can get a better view at some of that stuff. I got a new EDC knife. I'm pretty big into collecting EDC, like knives and flashlights, other stuff like that. It's the, uh, the Honey Badger. I got the small one. This is about, I think, 35 bucks on Amazon. Really nice little EDC blade. It's got that honeycomb pattern on the handle. Really grippy and nice. It's a perfect size. I don't want a huge knife whenever I'm carrying a knife around. They're just handy to have, like opening packages, and I even cut fishing line with this sometimes if I can't find my scissors. That's pretty cool. It looks like it comes with a sticker as well, so I can throw that on my battery box. And the final thing I thought was pretty neat was uh, I was going through some of my old stuff from my parents' house and I found this Bass Hunter 64 uh, video game manual instruction booklet. Pretty neat, man. I used to play this game a lot when I was a kid. You can even see here Al Lindner is uh, is all throughout this, this book. Actually, yeah, there's a whole tip section from Al Lindner. I didn't really watch him growing up. I watched um, Jimmy Houston, Roland Martin, Bill Dance, Hank Parker, I think. All right, enough talking. So here is the battery box. I'm going to try to get this USB port installed into here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put new ends on the cables for this. So we're going to get that done. And I uh, figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. I can also show you what I have in here. Um, no, there's not a ton of room in this box. You know, this is a 100 amp hour battery. I keep my pin for the quick release bracket for the motor guide. I keep the remote that I wear around my neck for the motor. I have a bag of just various little cables and batteries if I ever need it for my cameras. Um, I have an extra power bank with a USB cord and this little waterproof case. Sometimes you'll see that in the in some of my videos. The front camera, this is what I do. I just keep it in this little water waterproof bag here and then just stand it upright on the front of my uh, boat and plug this into that front camera Works out pretty good. I haven't had any issues with water in there. I Have a bag of tools, which I think is important This is everything that I would need to fix something on my kayak or on my trailer I even have some spare bolts and nuts and washers that I use on my trailer But I hope you guys are doing well um, I went out to the Allegheny River yesterday morning you might have seen the short I posted of me catching a smallmouth. That was actually the first smallmouth I've caught in a long time. That's the only fish I got from that trip. So it's not really, oh, it's not really worthy of a full length video, I don't think. It, it was not that interesting, so I'm just gonna leave that short. So ugh, put the battery there, and this thing is kind of gross, man. There's a lot of junk in here. This actually looks like dog hair. Okay, if you're a dog owner, you know, you know how it is. Looks like I have a couple zip ties too. These are always good to have. I'm not going to spend a ton of time cleaning this thing because it's just, you know, it's, it's supposed to be dirty. I use this stuff. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a little bit weird. It's uh, 
kind of early in the morning. Okay, so let's get this. Uh, you can see the, can you see that hole right there? I had plans for something else a long time ago for the front of this box and I never ended up using it. So let me get this completely out of the way. Will this work? Yes. Battery can go there. Peel this tape off. Mm. Yeah, Gorilla tape is no joke. There we go. Mm. Jeez. That's tough stuff, man. <clears throat> All right, there's the hole. So where'd I put that thing? Where'd I put it? Right here. Let's take a look. Got our cables and our USB port. Not really sure what I'm doing or how to install this, but we're gonna figure it out together. <clears throat> so let's see if this hole will work. There's the USB ports. Moment of truth. It's pretty good. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, the hole that I had originally drilled works perfectly. You can see that it's sticking through there. Nice. There's the piece that will secure it in. You just tighten this down. Nice. That's pretty neat, man. So now i got some USB ports at the front of my box. So the question is, is my battery going to be able to sit in here with this thing sticking out? Let's do a little test. Oh, another zip tie. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> oh yeah, we got room. We got room, but definitely need to reorient this a little bit differently. So probably don't need a pull noodle there. So we'll just shove the spare cable in the back, like so. Maybe just one pull noodle in the front. Let's see if this piece would work. Nope, it's a little too short, and this is a little bit too long. So I can cut. I can cut this. So it's not, you see how that's bulging out there? I'll cut a little bit off of here. Just keeps a little bit more secure. You know, you don't want this thing sliding around on you. I'm a novice at this stuff, I'll be honest. So go easy on me in the comments. Now these ends I'm probably gonna have to change. There's no way that's gonna fit. There's my little box of electrical things. Okay, so probably need that. This looks like it'd be good. These might be able to work. I don't know guys, like I said, don't judge me too bad here. Um, I'm wondering if I can take, like cut this off, cut this off. So I just have a regular wire. Put one of these connectors in, crimp it down, and then crimp it to like this, and then hook it up. Will that work? Hmm. I don't know. I already have this done. This actually came off of my trolling motor, so it'd be cool to use this. I think that should work. We're going to try it. Who cares? There you go. That can go into here. I'll take this guy, do the same thing into this end, and that should be good. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> okay, here's the other one. That feels pretty good. Yeah, that's in there. All right, kind of goofy looking, but so am I. So that's perfect. So 
So we have to repeat that same thing with this negative wire. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I have a whole new respect for river and creek kayak fishermen. Because dealing with that current is just, it can get crazy. I can see the benefit of using one of those little power poles or, you know, those pole anchors. If I ever do more fishing like that, I might buy one of those. Um, my kayak is actually already rigged up and ready to uh, accept a power pole mount. Feels pretty good. All right. This other side connected up. Okay, so let me run up and grab my charger from my phone. And we'll see. Oh, look at that. It's already lit up. I didn't know it did that. <laughs> okay. So maybe that was the right thing to do. Maybe not. <laughs> it works. Let me go grab my phone. Be right back. All right. Moment of truth. It should work. But I do want to see if it'll power up my phone. Okay. Yep. We're charging. 63%. All right, that's amazing. Yeah, it's charging. So that's <laughs> that's really freaking cool, man. I, I didn't know if that was going to work or not. Like I said, I'm a noob at all this stuff. But I'm going to put some of this heat shrink tubing on here to make that connection more waterproof. And uh, I think that's a good idea. I did that with everything. You can see here, you know, these ends have it. It's already at 65%. We gained 2% already. All right. Your boy is an electrician. No, I'm not. <laughs> I could never, I, I don't ever want, I don't want to offend any electrician out there with my terrible work. Easy. That's it. Look how much nicer that looks now. Okay. So we got this one done. I'm going to do that same thing onto the positive wire. Look at that old school game, Bass Hunter 64. <laughs> I used to think these graphics were amazing. Simpler times, man. Simpler times. Ugh, ugh, ugh. It won't slide forward and break off this connection. Awesome. <laughs> Well, is that it? Is that all I have to do? I think that's it for the box. I hope this helps someone out there. Maybe you have a battery box and you're you know, looking to upgrade it. Add some uh, USB ports for your phone or your camera or whatever. There you go. There you have it. Pretty easy install. I didn't even need to drill a hole because it was already there. A little bit of a different video for today. Um, just wanted to post some different content on my channel, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to uh, tighten the rest of this down, throw this back onto my trailer, and uh, I'll be ready for the next fishing trip. Guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.